If you find yourself around a lot of secondhand smoke or just maybe smoke every now and then, you may be wondering about what effects it's having on your body. I'm Dan Carlson and today we're covering the effects of passive smoking. Passive smoking is generally considered to be secondhand smoke but can also be considered just having a smoke once every week, something like that, if you're out on the town. Uh, the effects of secondhand smoke and of passive smoking are pretty much the same as smoking yourself. It's all bad for you. There's all carcinogens, cancer-causing agents floating in that smoke. And when you inhale them, you can have the same problems as a regular smoker, which can be hard on your breathing, on your activity. You may feel a little more run down. And if you're around a lot of secondhand smoke, you should try to get yourself out of that position or maybe find a way to clean up the air if you have to be in that position. Uh, a lot of things like um, emphysema, all sorts of cancers, uh, throat cancer, nose cancer, things like that, sinus cancers, all can be tra traced back to passive smoking. And the best thing to do about that is to just keep yourself out of that situation altogether. If you find yourself in a very smoky room a lot, try to get that room smoke free for your benefits and those around you as well. I'm Dan Carlson. Thank you.